sure you stay safe. The Reno man who admitted to killing his wife then pled guilty at the last minute to murder is changing attorneys. What it could mean for the murder case. And could the shift you work make you more susceptible to cancer? So Vegas is a nighttime in town and it's just a lot more fun at night. The newest probable carcinogen hits our 24 hour town. Now your number one 11 p.m. newscast. Channel 8 Eyewitness News in HD. Our valley continues to expand at the edges and those outlying areas are attractive to thieves. Criminals are hitting unfinished houses at dark construction sites and they're also going after well-lit homes with people inside. Police say thieves are getting bolder, violent robberies are up this year, as well as street robberies. Channel 8 Eyewitness News is live. Amanda Hernandez is standing in a spot where three break-ins happened in the last 24 hours. Amanda. Paula, like you said, in the last three nights, this Southern Highlands neighborhood was targeted by the same man. And when he went to break into those homes, there were actually families inside as he was coming through the window. Enjoying the cool evening, neighbors are out having fun and practicing a few new tricks. It seems impossible that just the morning before, a robber was scaring families as he tried to get in their homes. Twice he targeted places that had only a woman alone inside or someone with a child. There was a male attempting to break into or burglarize her home. She was home alone with a five-year-old child. Luckily, the woman's screams were enough to stop the would-be thief from getting all the way into the home, keeping everyone safe. But Metro says that's not always the case. Over the past year, they've seen a 4% decrease in robberies, but that has mainly been for businesses. Violent robberies and street robberies are actually on the rise in Las Vegas. Uh, street robberies have increased because they have become the easier target. This resident says he keeps himself from being an easy target by staying armed. Like, I don't want someone to break in, but if they do, then I think it'll, like, I think that they'd probably hope that someone's not home. Officers recommend that you just fight the urge to leave your windows open and especially don't forget to close your garage doors. It can give robbers easy access. And if someone does get into your home, immediately grab 911. You need to make as much noise. Let this person know that there's someone there. Police say they are seeing these robberies across the valley and not just in the inner city. They're seeing them in outlying areas like this one here and also even in gated communities. Reporting live here, Amanda Hernandez, Channel 8 Eyewitness News. Amanda, thank you. An armed robbery suspect was shot by Metro Police after he tried to rob a rebel gas station near Flamingo and Rainbow. Police say he ran when they showed up and one eyewitness says the suspect threatened him. He says he's going to attack me and, and I don't know, it was seconds, you know, and you never know, your life can change in seconds. A police officer then confronted the suspected robber, and during a struggle, the suspect was shot, but he's not in danger of dying. Well, the search is on here in the valley for three children abducted by their mother who does not have custody. So it's believed that Brian, Christian, and Evan Miller all may have shaved heads now. They also believe the mother, Jennifer DeJong, who may go by her maiden name of Lopez, may have cut and dyed her hair black. The children were taken from their Diamond Bar home last week. They could be here in town. Anyone with information is asked to call 800-THE-LOST. Eyewitness News has confirmed the Reno businessman who admitted to killing his wife has new attorneys. Darren Mack fired his previous attorneys. Just this month, Mack pleaded guilty to murdering his wife and admitting the state could make a case that he also shot the judge presiding over their divorce. Now, it's not clear why he fired his attorneys after pleading guilty. He could have more motions planned before he is scheduled a sentencing in January. Metro may soon have some extra help removing repeat criminals and deporting them to their home country. If approved, Metro correction officers could start identifying illegal immigrants. Under the agreement, some detention officers would have access to a federal database of known immigration violators, allowing them to track those already in custody and new prisoners coming in. Some say it will be unfair to those inmates booked on misdemeanor charges. The target is going to be the prolific criminal. Those who go back into the community and prey on their in, within their own community. That's the, uh, the whole premise of it. We're not looking uh, to take the misdemeanant and send him back to his country, although everybody will go through the system. ICE may have the final say in whether this program is adopted. Criminals will still have to serve their time before being handed over to ICE. 
More than a thousand children have been injured or killed since 2001 because of violence on school campuses. And today, experts from all over the country gathered for a safety conference. Everyone from school administrators to first responders attended the conference. Conference participants say communication is key to keeping schools safe. Because it's been such an outcry, um, we're looking and we're seeing more agency from the government, uh, the law enforcement, uh, faith-based communities, uh, school uh, communities, all the different agencies and support agencies uh, come together to try to address this issue. More than 6% of students surveyed by the CDC said they have carried a weapon to school in the past 30 days for safety. Another 8% said they've been threatened with a weapon. You know, many joke that just about anything these days can cause cancer, but the newest addition to the list may have many here in the Valley uh, reconsidering their work schedule. In a 24-hour town, graveyard shifts are normal, but next month, that overnight shift will appear on a cancer-causing list as a possible carcinogen. Channel 8 Eyewitness News is live. Aaron Drawhorn joins us from the Desert Inn Arterial to explain all that. Uh, Aaron? Las Vegas is one of those cities that never sleeps. A lot of people driving down I-15 now are actually ready to start their work day, and many workers tonight were stunned to learn that the graveyard shift is now linked to cancer. The hustle and bustle of Las Vegas, a 24-hour city always on the go. It's part of the Sin City allure, but could this lifestyle be dangerous for workers? The International Agency for Research on Cancer next month plans to add overnight shift work as a carcinogen, just like engine exhaust or smoking. White Cross Drugs on the Strip is a 24-hour operation. James Squires is a shift manager and knows what it's like to be working after dark. Uh, it can be tiresome. Maybe. Working different schedules or graveyards, whether at a convenience store or casino, is bound to throw off anyone's body clock. Squires experiences that once a week. And I wake up in the middle of the you know, night, can't go back to sleep. What many can't believe, some studies say that night and day difference can cause cancer. What, drinking coffee too much or what? Not exactly. The answer may be in this, melatonin. Our bodies naturally produce the hormone normally at night. Melatonin can stop tumor development, but some graveyard workers are tired and have lower levels of melatonin. That can raise the risk of cancer. I don't know about cancer. There are plenty of skeptics. Graveyard cab driver Paul Manley is one of them. I don't, I don't imagine that's true. I've known light drivers for years and years and years. I don't see any, any difference as far as health-wise. And so, cancer causing or not, the after-hours work must go on. This is like a way of life. Here it is in Las Vegas. Experts estimate that nearly 20% of the workforce is on the night shift. Previous studies have been done on this before. They have found that women working at night are more prone to breast cancer, men on the schedule more susceptible to prostate cancer. Reporting live tonight, Aaron Drawhorn, Channel 8 Eyewitness News. All right, well, Aaron, let's assume this is all accurate. Is there anything that workers could do to prevent the risk or minimize it? Well, scientists, Dave, say that a balance between light and dark is very important for the body. So always try to get a dark night's sleep, if you will, which many workers do anyway. Also, believe it or not, some companies are actually experimenting with different types of lighting at work, lighting that will not adversely affect the production of melatonin. All right. Thanks, Aaron. If you plan on buying a fake Christmas tree this year, you may want to check for warning labels first. One pre-lit Christmas tree from a Walmart came with a warning about cancer. A warning lets consumers know that the product's electrical wires expose you to lead, which of course can cause cancer and birth defects and other reproductive harm. Businesses are not required, though, to put this information on their labels. Al-Qaeda ringleader Osama bin Laden has put out a new anti-American audio tape. On it, he urged European nations to stop helping the U.S.-led war in Afghanistan because he says he's the only one to hold responsible for the 9-11 attacks. The message was also an apparent attempt to reassert his leadership over Al-Qaeda. This is bin Laden's fourth message in three months. President Bush wants Congress to approve a multi-billion dollar proposal to fund the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. American people expect us to work together to support our troops. That's what they want. They do not want the government to create needless uncertainty for those defending our country 
and uncertainty for their families. Nearly 200,000 U.S. troops are in Iraq and Afghanistan, and the president says they need money to continue their fight against insurgents and the Taliban. Congress recently approved $50 billion for the wars, but that will run out in February. Presidential candidate uh, Fred Thompson talked about issues important to Nevada in a one-on-one -on -one interview with our sister station News 1 at 9's Jeff Gillen. Immigration was a hot-button issue at the Republican presidential debate last night, and today Thompson said securing and controlling our borders cannot be affected by the possibility that it may cripple the economy. Uh, it, it's not good policy for our country to depend upon a steady uh, inflow of uh, those who will work at, uh, at uh, lower wages and, and be dependent upon those people in the millions uh, in a high-tech economy. Thompson also touched on Yucca Mountain, saying he will let scientific evidence guide his decision on the nuclear repository project. You can hear more on where he stands on the issues. The full interview is on our website, lasvegasnow.com. Hardworking homeowners who might lose it all. They promised us two years I could lower my interest. I can't even sleep no more. Broken promises that may lead to broken dreams. Family after family proving that foreclosure crisis consists not of numbers but real lives. Lives were there as they try to get help. And criminals hacking into your computer from halfway around the world and breaking the law under your name. The newest multi-million dollar scam you need to hear about. You're watching Channel 8 Eyewitness News at 11 with Paula Francis and Dave Cavassier. The first local news in HD. You're watching Channel 8, home of the award-winning IT. Channel 8 Eyewitness News. This week only, buy one or more of our 20 exclusive gifts with your Target Visa or Red Card, and you could win an unbelievable prize. From London to Sesame Street, from Maserati to Mizrahi, it's all at Target, but not for long. The phenomenon is it's Toyota Thon at Desert Toyota. We've given ourselves a monster sales goal of 702 new Toyotas this month. So Desert Toyota has some phenomenal deals, like 0% financing on a new 07 Tundra Crew Max, or get $2,500 customer cash. Plus, during Toyota Thon, you'll get phenomenal year-end savings on any new 07 in stock, and receive two rounds of golf with any test drive. The phenomenon is back, Toyota Thon. Now through Sunday at Desert Toyota. selection of homes and a higher standard of living this is Summerlin this is home Anytime is a great time to get happy in a Honda, but time is running out to get the 2007 clearance pricing of Happy Honda Dates at your Las Vegas Honda dealers. The most fuel-efficient vehicles in America are clearance price now. Drive home a new Honda today with clearance pricing and special 2.9% financing. Hurry, the clearance pricing of Happy Honda Dates sales event ends soon at your Las Vegas Honda dealers. Las Vegas HondaDealers.com Think Honda for the holidays. It's Happy Honda Days. Southern Nevada has a crisis on our hands with so many homeowners mm. facing foreclosure. Our families trying to avoid foreclosure showed up in droves today, hoping to find help to hold on to their American dreams. A mobile resource center was set up in Las Vegas. It brought troubled homeowners, some lenders, bankers, mortgage counselors all together. Many people had gotten into loans thinking they could refinance when the housing market improved, but instead they have rising interest rates they cannot afford. I was very aware of the type of loan I had. It was a definitely a good loan for me at the time. So my house payment has gone up a thousand dollars more a month with the uh, with the uh, adjustable rate. One in 154 homes are now in foreclosure in Nevada. 
Another Las Vegas Mobile Resource Center will be set up in January, and there will be one in Pahrump tomorrow from 12 to 2 p.m. The housing crisis has caused the White House to reduce its forecast for economic growth next year. Sales of existing homes fell to a record low in October, creating the largest number of unsold homes on the market in more than 22 years. Along with the existing homes, there are a record 191,000 new homes that just aren't selling. Consumer is getting squeezed. They're getting squeezed by falling home prices, by rising mortgage payments, and by rising price of gasoline. While the White House contends that the rest of the market is strong, economists say the cutbacks on spending could have 2008 in the first U.S. recession in years. Internet hackers are getting away with millions and leaving the victims' names connected to the crimes. The scam is called Robot Network, or Botnet. The cyber criminal plants a program on your computer. Once they control your computer, they can watch you enter bank accounts and passwords and then drain everything before you know it. But there are some clues. You might not see anything, um, but typically you'll see your computer acting a little, a little slowly or unusually because the, the bot, uh, it, your, your computer as a robot is actually, the resources of that computer uh, are actually being used by somebody else. To protect yourself, make sure you've got an active firewall in place, your antivirus is up to date, and you are familiar with what's occurring on the computer. They also say turn off your computer at night. A man is dead after an early morning hit and run, and police need your help finding the driver. Police say the man was walking on the sidewalk along Flamingo, just east of Eastern Avenue, when a vehicle jumped the curb and hit him. The vehicle took off, and the man was pronounced dead at the scene. If you saw something or can help in any way, call Crime Stoppers. City officials are assessing the damage after an historic downtown school was accidentally set on fire. Officials say last night's fire at the Fifth Street School was intentionally set by a homeless man. The fire was quickly put out, but the damage is estimated at more than a quarter of a million dollars. Former Fifth Street student CG, CJ Gregory says the school was more than just a place to learn. But Fifth Street was just, it was our playground, it was our sanctuary, it was our everything. We were so safe and just totally happy. The school is in the process of being renovated into a downtown cultural center. It was supposed to open next summer, but most likely that will be delayed. Veterinarians now have confirmed that 224 pets were killed by contaminated pet food recalled earlier this year. Health officials said they received thousands of complaints from owners that their pets had died because of the contaminated food. The ingredients were imported from China and millions of packages of pet food had to be taken off the shelves. Your power bill may go up if a new natural gas power plant is built. The BLM was planning to build a coal power plant in Ely after environmental studies are completed in 2009. However, Nevada power officials say they were told the studies were going to be done by next summer. That's what they were planning for. Now, Nevada Power plans to build the gas plant to keep the lights on in the meantime. The most important thing that we have to do is keep the lights on. That is our responsibility. That's our legal obligation. Green energy consultants say gas may be a better form of energy because it's cleaner, but it can also be more expensive because the price fluctuates. Thousands of people will be hitting the streets early Sunday morning for the Las Vegas marathon, including the National Guard's elite marathon team. Yeah, the team features about 25 of the top men and women's citizen soldiers and airmen who excel in long distance running. We'll be covering the race from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. right here on Channel 8. It'll also be streamed live on our website, lasvegasnow.com. I hope they do well. Yeah, Hope's absolutely. A little windy that day? Yeah, just a mm -hmm. little. And a little cloudy, too. Yeah. Clouds bode well for runners. Yeah. Unfortunately, the wind, wind does not. Yeah, unless no. it's going to push them along, you know. And Depends on what, yeah. which way it comes from. Yeah. Right. So hopefully it'll be in the right direction to get everybody going. Yeah. Let's take a look outside tonight, show you what's happening. Barely a breeze out there right now, but that will change as we move through the next couple of days. Thanks to a weather system that will move by, and I'll show you that weather system and, of course, the effects it'll have on our weather coming up. Here's a look from the stratosphere camera, though, as I mentioned, through the night tonight. All right, let's take a look now at the high temperatures that we reached today. Numbers on the cooler side of things, thanks to the clouds that we had around that are still sitting around. High temperatures barely 60 degrees for most locations. Lamb 58 for a high temperature today. Some 60s and some spots off to the east, but most of us off to the west side here in the mid 50s for high temperatures and numbers down to the south. A few more 60s 
60s popping up on this map, but in general, we were all in the upper 50s today. Again, thanks to the clouds that were out there. Although really, these numbers are basically where they should be for this time of year. Uh, numbers outside the valley, I know it says 32 for Sandy Valley, but trust me, it was warmer than that. Laughlin, 66 degrees for high temperature today, and Prim, 64. All right, taking you to the satellite now to show you what's been going on for the past couple of days, really. An area of low pressure has been sitting down to our south. Areas of low pressure indicate storms or activity or clouds in this case bringing the clouds up into the valley, sitting over us tonight. Tonight it'll act as a blanket, so tonight may not be as cool as it was last night, leading to a relatively mild start to the day tomorrow. Then this storm will continue to sit here as another one will continue to develop over my shoulder. Let me show you that in a second. First, I want to show you the radar beneath the clouds. Enough moisture to bring some wet weather to parts of Arizona and the higher elevation seeing a little bit of snow. Of course, all of this is off to our east and don't expect it to move in here just yet. But here's the track of the two systems that I'm talking about. Here's the one that's been sitting over us for the past couple of days. It's still going to sit here until the one in the Pacific Northwest can pick it up and move it out. And that will happen as eventually this area of low pressure will slide down the California coast. It's going to take its time. As it approaches the valley, expect the wind to increase here. That's going to be as we move through the day tomorrow. Clouds are going to stick around too. I'm not saying we're going to see any wet weather here in the valley though. I really think any rain possibility with this next storm will move right into Arizona. I don't think we're going to see it here. I think we're going to have clouds and I do think we're going to have windy weather even as we move through Sunday. Then by Monday that area of low pressure picks up the other one, moves it all off to the east and as we head through next week the sun will return. Calmer conditions will return as well. But first of course let's get you through the day tomorrow. That's important too. Here's a look at the forecast. Very little sunshine, a good breeze picking up, especially as we move into the end of the day. High temperatures will be very similar to what we saw today. Upper 50s for most of us, and we could see some lower 60s off to the east. Centennial Hills about 56 degrees for the high temperature for tomorrow. Air quality will be good for dust, despite the fact the wind will pick up. So that's always a good sign too, as we end the week. Then as we move through the next couple of days, here's everything broken down. Breezy slash windy weather with clouds for Friday into Saturday into Sunday. Then everything should start to move out from Monday and then we'll see another storm <laughs> most likely as we move into the end of next week. That one could bring us some wet weather. Yeah, through the cycle. Okay. Yes. Thanks Gina. You're welcome. Chris Matthews is here. Did we miss a good one? A lot of people did miss a good one tonight. Mm. It was uh, really a marquee matchup that was missed by millions of households in America thanks to the NFL or as fans were screaming the No Fun League. But we'll show you the biggest moments plus how bad can it get in the NBA. The Knicks are stealing money. I'll show you why coming up next here on Channel 8. Neighborhood weather on Eyewitness News and HD is brought to you by Finley Cadillac Saab. A lot of people on your list. Ross has a huge selection of delicious gourmet gifts. And what's even more delicious, you'll save 30 to 50% off department store prices. Pretty tempting, isn't it? Ross, there's no comparison. Ford's year-end celebration is here. The best time to check out the new restyled 2008 Ford Focus with Sync powered by Microsoft. It's, all there. it's in car technology that lets you voice activate your Bluetooth enabled phone, MP3 player, and much more. And Focus gives you up to 35 miles per gallon. Now sign and drive off in an 08 Focus for $227 a month with zero do it signing, and we'll make your first payment. Go to compareford.com, then visit your Southern Nevada Ford store. Imagine a place where suburb and city come together as one. Imagine a home where everything you need to live and everyone you love are always nearby. Imagine a community that is a reflection of your spirit with a center that mirrors your heart. Imagine Inspirata. Come, live every day inspired. Desert Nissan has a new address, 5800 West Sahara, just east of Jones. We've moved to a brand new facility with more inventory than ever before. So we're celebrating with move-in savings on new Nissans, like a new 07 Nissan Murano, $79.99, a new 07 Altima, $54.99, and now receive up to $9,000 off any new Titan. The new Desert Nissan on West Sahara, just east of Jones.
Want to miss fewer calls? Now with Embark, you can link your home phone to your cell phone, helping you miss fewer calls and use fewer wireless minutes. Embark, where common sense meets innovation. There's always something good inside. You just have to find it. Now McDonald's has it. The new McSkillet burrito. Skillet potatoes, scrambled eggs, and savory sausage, layered with zesty salsa and cheese. Find everything good about breakfast, all inside a warm tortilla. You could go to a department store and buy this adorable teddy for $38. Or you can go to Ross and buy the same teddy, plus slippers and a robe, and still have money left over for another adorable teddy. Ross, there's no comparison. This portion of Eyewitness News in HD is brought to you by Cars.com. Now, Channel 8 Eyewitness Sports with Chris Matthews. Hey, Cheeseheads made their way to Dallas for tonight's huge NFC matchup. Green Bay, Dallas, both 10-1 and on the season. All eyes on Brett Favre and Tony Romo. All eyes unless you didn't have the NFL Network. Otherwise, here are your highlights. 6-3 Cowboys, Favre was slinging. He is picked off, which led to a... Tony Robo to Patrick Creighton, touchdown. Green Bay would answer. Ryan Grant on third and short, bust through the line. He's gone 63 yards into the end zone, three-point game. First play of the second quarter, and it is Romo again. He goes long to Terrell Owens inside the 30, sets up this pass play to Anthony Fasano. His first career touchdown, Dallas jumps out to a 20-10 lead. This was the turning point in the second. Brett Favre hit, pick, separates his shoulder. Bruises his elbow. He's done for the day. Dallas scores 27 points in 20 minutes. That pick led to this touchdown. Popcorn waiting. Green Bay got to within three. Big pass interference call sets up the game's final touchdown. Romo, four TDs. Cowboys improved to a franchise best 11-1 with a 37-27 win. As for Favre, who knows when he'll be back. We only had two quarterbacks, so I had to, just in case, I had to take a snap. Like I said, you hurt your shoulder as well. Um... If we, uh, yeah, I think I uh, separated my left shoulder as well. <laughs> you think you'd know that? <laughs> Rebels are back preparing for UTEP. The miners come to Las Vegas.